live there and it is trying it says i'm live i'm going to listen to volume streaming computer it should come. that's working and then i'll go to the actual live youtube there. channel and, and it's working there so we are live okay i'm going to bring greg up on the screen and here we have our uh, zoom session with greg and hello there hello how are you doing today greg i'm pretty good it's a little chilly and a little rainy here in southern maryland southern maryland it is all right i'm afraid my geography isn't good enough to pull up an image in my mind but i know you're out that way that yeah, way is east for we're me. about 85 miles southeast of dc all right awesome yeah i've had some relatives in dc so yeah that's kind of making sense all right so we are working with windows updates uh today what i'd like to oh you know what before i actually get into that i'm gonna i'm gonna take a little side trip here with you you indicated in your email that your u.s navy retired that's correct and first of all thank you for your service Thank you. But that stood out to me because my dad was U.S. Navy. He passed away last year. He was in Sorry World War that. II. Thank you. And he was a gunner's mate on a destroyer. And he just I, did his four-year hitch during World War II. My dad was in uh, World War II. He was on PT boats in the Solomon Islands. Oh, okay. Well, so I kind of felt that... Uh, connection with you and you've kind of had me in mind of my dad through the day as we were getting ready for this so what i'd like to do is i'm gonna i'm gonna switch over to my <clears throat> computer number two you're not gonna see this on your screen what i want to do is bring up the um where did i have that over here i want to bring up the description that i have for this video and it includes what you have told me so far about your computer so the people watching this video are seeing me bring that up now and I'm gonna want to mute that if it starts sounding off yeah there it is so I'm gonna scroll down here to the description area okay. and here's what you've told me so you are still able to chime in and, and 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 talk through this but i'm going to go ahead and read through this so you said my pc won't update any method i've tried all updates since october 2020 have the same error 800 7002 that's not a right way to pronounce that number but it's my lazy way of pronouncing it try to update assist four times after running it displays undoing all changes tried ms media creation tool three times after running it displays an error code you have windows 10 build 1909 uh, build 18363.959 any assistance you can provide would be great willing to pay for your time knowledge we're not going to do that through my youtube i already explained that to you everything i'm doing here is uh, free and unwilling to take payment and at this point i have my business reasons for that we won't go into right now PC is only a year old. Specifications below. Asus X470-F, AMD 2600X, G-Skill F43200 RAM, EVGA 1650, SC Ultra, Thermal Lake AI Cooler, Samsung Evo Plus, D-Drive, you have a Crucial MX500, Thermal Lake 650 Power Supply, Thermal Lake Commander, C36 case, and then uh, hoping you can reinstall Windows 10 to the latest uh, version. Uh, too many hours spent trying to fix it, update uh, to version, uh, that would be 20H2 you were trying to update to. Mostly use the PC for shopping, banking, watching YouTube videos. Would like to keep all the programs and files if possible. Don't have a lot of programs installed, just bookmarks, logins, passwords. So. Coming back to the Zoom meeting. 
So we got a few, I, I've got a few questions and we got to get a little orientation. I don't have a preconceived notion which way we're going to go with this. And I think as we have a conversation here, some choice may become apparent as better than others. I'm seeing there's uh, showing five concurrent viewers. So if you're out there watching, uh, say hello in the chat. I'd like to have an idea who's there if you're willing to. So this looks like a custom built computer. Is that right? No, I built it myself. Well, that is custom built. That is what my definition of custom built. You bought the components and built it yourself. All right, all from Newegg or Amazon. Okay. Are you a viewer of Kerry Holzman's channel by chance? That's how I got your name last night watching his tech vets. Awesome, awesome. I love the work that Kerry and Mike are doing. Kerry Holzman, Mike Smith are doing, and I've been following them both for a long time. And they're substantially a inspiration for how I put together my channel. So we definitely have that He's connection. Kerry inspired me to get rid of my old Windows XP built in 2002 PC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. All right. So of the thoughts on my mind, um, even without being a custom built computer, Microsoft's track record with cumulative, uh, cumulative updates and feature updates has not been a great track record. I've noticed that it did good from the very beginning in November, 2019 till about October. And that's when I started having problems. Yeah. Well, they even had the, the, uh, 2004 feature update was delayed for a long time even for microsoft surface computers right so computers that, that microsoft builds they couldn't get that feature update to work right on those computers. I, I couldn't get it to update to 2004 from the microsoft web page either yeah you have not yet updated data to 2004 so you've been sitting here waiting and now the 1909 that you're on is going to be expiring in May. Yeah, that's what I remember hearing. I heard they already stopped uh, supporting 1903. Right, that is that is out. Unless you're on a long-term servicing agreement and that is for uh, large corporations yeah. and they pay through the nose for that. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I don't think anybody who's doing that is going to be watching these videos because they have a direct pipeline to Microsoft. Yeah, the, Na the Navy, uh, I was when I was in the Navy until August 94, I retired. Uh, I did IT work, but not to the extent level that, that you you do it. Uh, I worked right. in communications. OK, well, great, great. Did a lot of hard drive removals, upgrade the RAM, clean them up software installs, things like that, managed eight people. All right. Well, I think the next thing I'm going to do here is is <clears throat> take a little aside and bring up a comment that came from a video that I did with Luis yesterday, the day before. Yeah, I watched that. Did you watch that? Okay, great. And uh, so I'm going to punch over to a comment here from a viewer that goes by the uh, handle Josty one and uh, he suggests something here. Oops, trying to maneuver these picture and pictures out of the way. He says, hello, Doug, almost caught you live. You could also try deleting files, folders in the C colon backslash windows backslash software distribution folder and try updating again. And sometimes you tried that. Just you did 20 times <laughs> and and i considered doing that with uh luis and <clears throat> i think i even discussed it with him although i didn't refer to the software distribution folder i've had some success with deleting that software distribution folder but typically the times when that has been useful is if the update doesn't download completely yeah. and it never gets to the point of trying to install it now there may be other there may be other people who have the experience where after the ins the update installation performs all the way through 100% and reboots 
and then shows that there's a problem, um, maybe some people have been able to get that fix to work, but I have not. Now, now I just I've emptied that software distribution folder at least 20, 30 times, rebooted, redownloaded, and it's this exact same error. Yeah, yeah. So we're not going to go down that road. And uh, you already, it sounds like you already went down the road of trying to perform an upgrade installation using. I believe I tried that twice in the, in the very beginning. Okay. From the Microsoft so, web page and it just errors out. And okay. at the end of it says I'm doing all changes. Okay. What I led off with talking about how Microsoft has started out with these feature updates and then they've had to make adjustments and fixes for computers where it just didn't work and even their own brand computer, they had difficulty getting to that point. Well, I am pretty feel pretty safe and confident in saying that they are still making fixes and adjustments sure. as they discover things that are not compatible and not working. So it is possible that one or more of the components that you have will not work with 20H2 yet. Well, we can figure that out if that's the case. So that's going to be one of the methods. They're pretty that... major brands. Pardon? Everything oh. major brands. There's no uh, A-data -da -A or the components or software or anything like that or hard. I don't have a printer. All I've got yeah. is uh, some speakers and a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor. Your components are pretty major brands, yes, but Microsoft has had major brands that they've had trouble with various configurations. So I, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not betting on that at this point, but that's <clears throat> one of the things on my mind. Another thing on my mind is the potential of a BIOS update or I device just did driver a BIOS updates. I'm update. um, at 50. Version 5837 is the latest one put out by you got the, for my board. got that covered. Yep. I, I, I also will... did a chipset update uh, uh, three weeks ago, I think. They, no, no. It was the beginning of this month. All right. So I will chipset assure you. the BIOS is up to date for the manufacturers and the AMD website. I feel safe in saying that I think Kerry will be proud of you for having already covered. <laughs> yeah, that. he's the one that uh, turned me on to uh, making sure you update your chipset. Yeah. Hello, Sane Goat. I see you in the chat room. If there's others in there who'd like to say hi, please go ahead and do so. Uh, all right. So then. You also said, I think that you had done a backup. Well, I have, Chrome, I have a Cronus paid version on there and it, it's backing up the corrupted since October to uh, my D drive. Corrupted, you're saying corrupted because it won't do the update? Right. Okay. Um, so one of the options in my mind is as long as you have an image backup that is uh, that we are confident about, then one option to test whether your hardware is compatible is to do a fresh install of 20H2. And then if that does not work, we've got a much smaller environment to troubleshoot. Right. Because we have all of your software, all of your, your computer's emotional baggage, yeah, it, it, it does a weekly backup. Yeah, okay. I think it just did one two days ago. And do you know that you have a USB device to that you can boot from to restore the image? I downloaded it and I think I ran it, but I don't know if I made it bootable. All right, well, that needs to be tested before we try. You want me to plug it in now? Uh, no, not yet. Let's have a little okay. more conversation. Let's explore another option. Do you have another hard drive that you'd be able to connect inside the computer so that we could do a fresh install on a different hard drive instead? All of... I have is C and D. Okay, so that's a no. I do have my son's uh, 
old C drive. It was an A data 750, and I bought an Orico uh, enclosure, and I took it down to his machine and I reformatted it, so it's blank. Would that oh. work? Would that work? It's yeah. 256 gigabyte. Oh, certainly. Because I was going to, I was going to set his Cronus up and back his up every week too, in case something ever happens. He's got, he's got a backup. Yeah. The way that you would do that is to open up your computer, unplug your, d disconnect your hard drive, your SSD, and plug that one in, connect it to the motherboard, and then boot to a bootable USB thumb drive, perhaps of the 20H2 installation media and perform the Windows 10 installation. I couldn't just plug this into the USB and then run it to the... Uh... No. Nah, that's that that's not that's not a good way that's not a good representation of a of a good Windows 10 installation. Uh, installing a bootable to a USB um, connected. Now nah, we'd really want to put it connected to your motherboard. I'd, I'd have to pull the panel off and uh, pop the M2 out. Yeah, so you have an M2. This this, this is a this is a SATA. You got it. NVMe. Yeah, but you could connect the SATA to the motherboard. There should be SATA connectors on your motherboard. You seem unsure of that. Uh, I think the D drive is SATA. Yeah, D drive is SATA. Okay. So okay. I just take those cables and you could disconnect. You could disconnect well, the SATA. It's only got a USB cable on it. I'd have to take but the drive you out. Can, you'd have to open that up. Yeah. And, yeah. I'd have and to take it out. Up. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, a that's a bit involved to do, yeah. and a little bit painful to do. But it takes the realm of possibilities, and doesn't really chop them in half. It chops it into less than half. If we find that we can install twenty H two on that just fine, then that tells us your hardware is probably okay, and then we can start looking at at other issues. Yeah, now, I, alternate... just, I just updated my C drive from a, a slow, crucial MX500 that was SATA yeah. uh, to the Samsung 970 EVO Plus, which is NVMe, which is much faster. Yeah. And I cloned it, and I had no problem. All right. And then, like, about four months later, October time frame, something, something went haywire. <laughs> Now, actually, because of the of the amount of gyrations you would have to go through to put that in your computer, I'm kind of feeling a little more attracted to the idea of making sure we've got a recoverable image backup and a recoverable bootable uh, a bootable USB yeah, you, to do you that with. Click on my Acronis icon, and then it'll show you the last backup. I think it's only about 48 hours old. Okay. Um, but we need that bootable USB, that, and, and so you can test booting off of that. It's got the setup executable on there. I downloaded it from Microsoft and selected mm -hmm. eDrive, and it wrote all the files to that. So I assume it's bootable. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna accept assumption. I'm gonna want you to test it before we rely on it. I agree. Uh, okay. So let's say I'm take a look over here at the chat and see if we've got any other comments. So I see uh, Joseph Winterhalter. Hello, everyone. Trevor Dune. Hello, Trevor Dune. Did he remove any virus scanner before doing update? Yes, I deinstalled Panda Dome. The only thing that's on there is Windows Defender, and I even disabled the Cronus protection before okay. I tried to do an update. Well, let's go explore the computer a little bit before we decide which way we're going to go. So I'm going to punch okay. over to your computer here. Let's do a little setup over here. And I'm minimizing your view okay. of the Zoom session. And hit this button and this button. And did that. There it goes. Now we see your computer. <clears throat> and just so you know, the people watching on YouTube are seeing you and me side by side. Yeah. And you're only seeing me. Right. 
So we got Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. All right. Yeah, I got a few nice screensavers. <laughs> All right. Let's go take a look at Event Viewer. Let's see, I'm going to bring you up full screen so the viewers don't see my computer around the border. And that's good there. Then I'll hit the Windows key to bring up your taskbar and then type Event. And that did not take me where I was expecting. Let's try that again. So Windows key, E. And it's not doing a search. I'm going to call, oh, you have some kind of different win, uh, menu system. Right. I, I installed a long time ago a uh, Windows arrow tweaker. Okay. And I, you can set it to a Windows 7 event uh, view. I like I that better. I'm so used to that in the Navy. I see. So did you try turning that off and doing the update? The Win Arrow Tweaker? No. Yeah. No. I've ne it's, it never uh, affected any updates. Um, well, um, it's a flat like tire never goes flat until it's flat. True. But uh, I've had it on there for over a year. And um. Back to yeah. the updates from November to October. Yeah, that's uh, when an update conflicts some, with something, it conflicts with something that it didn't used to conflict with. So the fact that it has been working isn't quite yeah, enough. We can disable it in Task Manager, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it's not a big deal <clears throat> to do. It's a easy thing to try. I don't feel highly confident that that's the trouble, unless we were to do unless we were to do a Google search and find some confirmation of it. In fact, maybe somebody in the chat window wants to go ahead and try that. Let's see, we got some other things here. Did he, Joseph Winterhalter reinstall the current version of Windows 10. Uh, he has tried that and Harambe, what version of Windows is this? You currently have 1909. And I'm coming in here to look at a uh, Windows update a client to see what we've got in here. So I'm going to filter the current log by the source of Windows update client. Yeah. And see what information we get. This is a little different than what I did with um, Luis. Uh, Luis the other yeah. day. Uh, Windows update client. And we'll see a bunch of updates happening. There's probably a lot of stuff. Let's see, here's a Logitech. That was just going... today. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going <clears> to <throat> click on this date and time column header because I found that the system event viewer doesn't do a perfect job of sorting by default. Um, Logitech and started downloading an update, security yeah, yeah. for defense. Antivirus stuff always, always installs. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've got update client, let's go back and adjust the filter a little bit. And let's say that we want update client with critical sure. warning and errors. So the most recent we have is March 6. Windows failed to install the following update. It sent and me that probably 30 times in the last five months. And okay. Then it'll install, but then the next time they send another update or I click on the updates channel, it'll, it'll try and install it again. And I've seen it listed as successfully installed in the view history. Okay. And I think that's only for Intel. So why is Windows pushing that to an AMD desktop? I think that's for an Intel system. I did some research on that. You think this particular update is for Windows? I mean, uh, Intel? If I remember what? correctly, I don't know, understand. I mean, if you look, my event, event viewer is kind of clean now. But I've had 20 and 30 occurrences of that, and it's been installed successfully in the view history log. Okay. Weeks before. So okay, why, well, 
why are they still sending it to me? <laughs> okay, let me get to this. Steel Series APS, does that mean anything to you? Uh, not to my knowledge, I okay. unless we Google it real quick. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to get a little more high-level orientation as to what things we see in here. Uh, there's another uh, Steel Series APS. Uh, that seems to be uh, maybe a recurring thing. I could have swore I, I researched that and it said it was intended for Intel systems, but I could be wrong. Okay. Are you referring to the Steel Series APS yeah. that you researched? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have that over and over and over. Now let's go take a closer look at it goes this. Back to December or even before that. Making a note here, three six twenty one five forty eight forty seven p.m. and take a closer look at what was happening around that event. So for the, that, I'm going to go to filter current log. I'm going to take away these check marks. I'm going to select a custom range time. Uh, first event of 3621. Events on. Okay, I'm going to do events on before I can get the date field to be active. And I'm going to go for, I'm just going to change that to 3 p.m. And then here, I'm going to take 3, 6, and I'll take 6, 27 p.m. Now let's do 7. Robocaller trying to call me. <laughs> you need the Robocill app for your phone. Oh, I've got, I've got it. That's how I recognized it. Sometimes it still rings, though. Okay, so here's, we've got only Windows Update Agent stuff during that time range. So start the following update, Steel Series APS. Okay, there's Defender. So none of these, we haven't seen anything here of trying to install. Uh, KB? Yeah, the KB. You have to go back in time a little bit further, a few days or a few weeks. All right, all right. Oh, since you actually tried it, all right. right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna discount that one that we're looking at right now, and let's get back to going anytime. And we do want to see a failure. So the failure of um, Try twenty H two would be older. So guide me where? How far back? What do you think that'd be? Uh, click on any of them. I can't, I can't remember. All right. Well, how about we go a little more uh, smarter about this and bring up um, a uh, browser and find out what the KB number is for 20H2, unless somebody's already given me that. Oh, uh, either that or go to the. Uh, view history, it might be in there. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. 110 20H2 uh, KB build number. Mm, that doesn't give me the KB number. Got to go to the Microsoft catalog page. Maybe? Sure, let's do that. Let's go to the horse's mouth. So let's see, I think I can do 20H2. Can I go that simple with it? All right, good. Uh, these are cumulative <coughs> updates. We want the feature 
update. Is it called that in here? No. Oops, wrong key. So 20H2 was supposed to be what, like September, October, something like that. It didn't get released yeah, to public. So here we're going back to, yeah, yeah, go to the next page. 2102, not far enough. Yeah, where do I get next page? Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. I know a better way to do this. Do, 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 do. Let's get back to what do I have on my computer? I'm checking Winver on my computer because I could easily find that. A KB number? Yeah, I have 2004. I have 20H2 on one of my other computers. Come on, somebody in chat, give me what is the KB number for 20H2. You can go into your Windows Update history to, to find that. Um, Might be on the next page, but that's going back to... I'll tell you what, you go ahead You go ahead and look at the next page. I'm looking at something on my computer, and that's what the viewers are seeing. So I'm on 2004, and if I go to update settings on this computer and view update history, and then... I've never actually tried to find it this way. Here's a feature update to 10 of, oh, wait a minute, this computer is advertising for me to go to 20H2, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. See what's in this update. So it's advertising for me to go to 20H2, so I clicked on see what's in this update. Please tell me that has the KB number. It should, I think, when you click on that see more info. telling me what it will do. Windows 10 October 2020 update. Let's try searching that way. Um, okay, Windows 10 October 2020 update. Coming back to your computer, Greg. Okay, you got control. Windows 10 2020 update. I remember that right? Uh, oh, October. Windows 10 October. I see Harambe says 19042. That doesn't sound like a KB number. Nope. Um, Can't do a Google search on it? Well, that's what I did a little while ago and just didn't come up with it while I was in the Bing. I do like Google better myself. Let's try long tail. Uh, what is the KB number for? Oh, look at that. Other people have searched it. Yeah. Awesome. Good call, Greg. There it is. All right. Um, you yeah, all right. So yeah, it's, it's just the, the yeah, October yeah. cumulative update. 
Um, it doesn't call itself a feature update. Yeah, I went about four pages back and I didn't see it either. Um, well, let's... What if you Google just that KB number? Does it, does it give you a, a link to the uh, update that you're looking for? Well, all of these are 458. Zero one nine, and some of them are October. So the way to narrow Those are this net frame versions is updates. Windows ten X sixty four. Let's see what happens. We put in that extra. This is a smaller list. Uh, still, yeah, that's not uh, that's not Windows uh, products. Windows ten cumulative update four dot net preview. Um, okay, so I do see Harambe has given us a good KB number. Let's, is that not the one? Yep, that's not the one I've been doing. So let's check that out. He's got 4580364. Uh, okay, so Harambe's also asked, and I'm sure what your answer is going to be, Greg. Have you tried going to settings, troubleshoot, Windows update? Oh, yeah. Multiple yeah. times. Yeah. Um, okay, so here we've got, let's narrow this down to X64, gives us less to look through. So there's two of them for server, not us, and there's one if you're coming from 2004, and there's one if you're coming from 20H2. These are previews. Yeah. Yeah, um, let's click into this and see if it shows us superseded. Package details. The update has been replaced by the following updates. Cumulated update, Windows 10 version 20 op 4 for x64 bakes systems. How much has that got in there? Quite a bit. Replaced by the following. So these those are November. We did see that it was claiming to be October. 2020. Okay, so these are the monthly cumulative, cum, cumulative updates. <laughs> you know what, Greg? We've been down this rabbit hole so long, I'm wondering, why was I going this way? Oh, to, find, to get the KB number so we could search for it in your event viewer. Um, so you're, you're on 1909. You said you haven't been able to get any updates. No. Okay. Everything, everything comes with the exact same error code. No okay. What is, except for net frame and antivirus. But All if right. It's human, if it's a cumulative, a feature or a preview, it won't install. All right. So let's go back and look at any uh, second Tuesday or in the region of any second Tuesday. So I'm looking for December. And as far as errors for Windows Update client, we're not seeing it. Now, it's possible that it didn't generate an error in the event viewer. It could be before that. I've I've seen some KBs in there with that error code in the past. Yeah. Well, how about we search these filtered items by using find and just search for KB. Okay. Failed to install the the following update with this error update for Windows this KB number, and this was 11.3. Uh, okay, and then let's go next. So you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that number down. 4580386. Next, same number, same number, 
Here's a different one. That's a, well, that's a security update with a failure. That's the same one, same one, same one. Searching from the select event to the end of the list, there is no event that contains a specified string. So we're back to 11.2. I mean, if you want to minimize that and jump to the Windows Update and run one, you'll see it. Yeah, I'll see what comes up. What comes up next? I was wanting to get what does your hmm. event viewer say about it. Uh, it's the same one. It one. There's uh, that one. That one's not a security. So four, five, eight. Six, eight, one, nine. Let's see. Let me look at uh, what we got. Uh, Josty one says hello, Doug, and chat. Josty one, we already talked about the um, software distribution, and Greg had tried that multiple times. Try to reinstall Windows from an ISO. It should keep your programs and files, but replace the current version with the latest fix and, and fix the update problems. And he has tried that. And that has also no, failed. No, I haven't done an ISO. Well, you 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 said you did an upgrade installation, right? How did you do that? I tr the first couple of times I tried it was update this PC now off the Microsoft web page, and then I downloaded the Microsoft uh, creation tool, and it ran. It showed Windows 10 is installing the percentage and everything. And then at the end, it popped up an error that I've got saved up on my desktop. Okay. Um, or actually my, my documents. All right. So let's have a conversation here with William Dawson from the, from the chat. Um, I have done update installation, upgrade installations from the Microsoft uh, Media Creation Tool when booted from the the current hard drive when i use a usb and create bootable media there if i boot off of that i found that it won't do an upgrade installation it wants to do a fresh install and it tells me there if i select that i want to do an upgrade installation it tells me that i have to boot off the local hard drive so William Dawson, are you uh, have you had a different experience than that? And while we're waiting for him to reply because there's a delay, I'm going to continue with what I'm doing here. Let's see that one. I've already got 386. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And we'll go look at what you were talking about, Greg. Windows key, update space. Whoops, why do we have shutdown? I think I'm hitting keys on the keyboard that I'm used to, and your menu system's taking me somewhere else. Um, let's try that again. Want me to click on uh, settings? No, I got the search field there. This should work. Update space settings. Mm, it doesn't like that. So we'll go settings. Okay, go ahead and, sh oh, this settings right here. Yeah. And it's going to probably give us a control panel. Easy settings. Oh. All right. And then update. I think it's security listed. here. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go back to the menu and select PC settings. Um, all right, let me get out of here. You're saying go back to Windows Start. key? Yeah, here? settings. Go to PC settings. There you all go. All right. That's what you wanted. Yep, that'll work. See, same. I've tried to install those three times in the last 48 hours. They all come up with the same error. 
for these? Yeah, just click oh. download. Click download it. Doesn't take it long. Will, oh, it doesn't take long? We'll get the error oh. before it tries to restart? Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, all right. So I'm going to... I always get that 087002 error. Every update they send me. Except antivirus and net frame. Well, 5,808, that's that one. That's the one that's causing the problem with Kyocera printers, but you don't have that issue. No, no printers attached. That's just the March cumulative, and that's the yeah, I heard Terry I and them talking number about because that last I've been night. working with that. So download here. If you get an error quickly here, then boy, that software distribution folder sounds really like a high suspect. When you were doing that software distribution folder, deleting everything that was in there, were you first stopping the service, the Windows Update service? I don't think so. All right. Well, maybe I might, still... might have done it a couple of times, but I can't remember. See, it always comes. Oh, up. that already errored. Oh my! Yeah. This is this is this is okay. Let's go do that. Same thing with the optional updates. Same error code. Oh, let's go do this. Okay, Windows key and the letter E. Will that get me to Explorer? Yes, it will. And then let's go down to your C drive. C drive should be right there on. Well, Josty one's going to be liking this if this works. So it's going to Windows and software distribution. And I've gone into the downloads and deleted everything. Control A, delete, throw it to the recycle bin, restart it, and it does the exact same thing. So I'm going to try going ahead and deleting these with a shift key for permanent delete, and they did go away. Now, it seems to me that I have also done all of, deleted all of these. Yeah, I think you have to stop bits to get that data store folder. The other three, I think you can, I've seen people delete those, the download, the post, the SLS, and the, the log, yeah. file. you can delete those, but to uh, you're gonna get a, and Try those. Yeah, the data store, I think, is the one that doesn't go away unless yeah. we stop the service. So let's yeah, try that. Stop. I think you got to just right-click on Task Manager and stop bits. Um, I'm going to do it in services.msc just because that's my comfort zone. Whoops. I, did, I missed a should S. be on the Start menu, too. I think it's plural, yeah. Yeah. Okay, click and on I one noticed, of those and type I noticed W. Bits, I noticed bits will stop when it's doing an update for some reason. All right. Yeah. So here's Windows Update, right? Yeah, I think I got that set to auto. And stop, Alt-Tab to go back to the software distribution folder. Yeah, Control-A, Shift-Delete, Enter, yeah. boom. They're gone. I've done that in the past too. <laughs> All right. And then restarted the services and then tried to run updates and still gives me the same error code. All right. Yeah, well, this is taking me a different direction than what I thought we were looking for. So then we'll try a retry here. Let's check the chat. Um, <clears throat> I think there was four services that said make sure they're running. When you do updates, bits, yeah. crypto, MSI server, and Windows Update. Do you have your hard drive encrypted? Not to my knowledge. All right. We can check. How do we install Windows from So we already looked at that. Uh, Microsoft did it as a new install order mm -hmm. the internet when my update stopped working. Um, yeah, I think the protection is the turned off on it. There's a new install over the internet when my update stopped working. Microsoft did it. William Dawson, I'm thinking you're saying that Will, Microsoft Tech Support did it as a new install over the internet when your update stopped working. 
Uh, Harambe, have you deleted possible corrupt files in software distribution folder? I think we're demonstrating that now. Is the update service running? We stopped it. You should delete the whole folder. Yeah. Agreed. Stop the Windows update service. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Stop service. Delete the whole folder. Then restart service. Agreed with that. And then here we've got error again. There were problems installing some updates, but we'll try again later. That's what it's always said since October. Okay. So this is the uh, I February. I don't think it's encrypted because it was doing updates for eight, ten months. If it was yeah, that that was most the reason. My reason for asking that is I have zero experience with encrypted hard drives, so uh, I, just I, I think to... I've got the protection turned off on on the root C drive. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at Winver. Yeah, you're Windows 10 Home, so you're not encrypted. Yeah. You have to have Pro for that. Um, if I came across questions regarding encryption, I'd be reaching out to Mike Smith. <laughs> That's an area he knows. Yeah, I remember um, so, reading about you, you, you can't update an encrypted drive. you got to turn it off. Oh, okay. Well, that, that makes sense. Um, and I'll just go take a look at a, at a very basic thing. I'm sure you're already covered on this to see. Yeah, your C drive is 170 gigabytes free of 209 yeah. gigabytes. Um, so it's not a huge drive. I, I, OS and a few programs, that's it. Yeah, yeah. When I bought the Samsung NVMe, I just use the D drive for a little bit of storage. I haven't installed hardly anything on there, I don't believe. All right. Uh, <laughs> William Dawson is saying, yes, they did. So I think that was in my regards to my question about Microsoft tech support. I uh, helped him with his issue. All right, so I've got a notion. I want to go take a look at a different direction here because we've covered those suggestions. And since this update is, is failing before it actually tries to install, that's really taken me a different direction than where I was going with the event viewer. Uh, it can't be completed because the file is open and that was that. that was probably when yeah. I was trying to delete those files yeah. so I I had asked earlier about this uh, what did you call the what whatever the service is or the software is that's tweaking your desktop oh win arrow tweaker if you just go to the start yeah let's just let's why don't you go or ahead and drive manager. and disable that for us okay go to task manager yeah you can go ahead and do the driving and talk us through what you're doing. I think hey, you, you missed task manager because I bumped the mouse, I Did think. It? Go ahead and try again. So you right click on there the taskbar. Start and up. Choose task smart. That's all I've got manager. in startup. All right, let's look at that a minute. Let's look it's at that. that. It's that classic start menu. Yeah. You want me to Logitech disable that? Downloads, Windows security notification. Why don't we just disable all of that? All of it? Sure. You've got such a short list, it's easy for you to come back and, and yeah, just enable it. them. And one of my strategies in troubleshooting something is to prove your assumptions. So what we're doing here is proving the assumption that none of these are causing the problem. Okay, you're in the driver's seat. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this. And then let's close down whatever else we have open. I'm going to go back to full screen so my computer isn't in the way. And I'll just go right click on some items down here and, and close whatever we have open. And that's event viewer, close. And zoom, was, we're going to leave that until we actually restart yeah. the computer. There so when no, we're. There's no third party antivirus program installed. Okay, Core so temp. that's the only thing. Uh, you'll see you got some temperatures being yeah. displayed. That's very innocuous. What is this A? 
it's a Kronos backup. So you oh, tell okay. you when you did the backup. All right. And we've disabled that from starting up. So you really don't have much at all going on there. And then let's go look at another uh, task manager to see what's going on here. We've got, so this desktop, ooh, no, window manager's all right. And no, I'm better off having those sorted by name so they're not bouncing all over the place. So a bunch of Kronos stuff. And yeah, I saw Cortana. No, I think I turned Cortana off. Yeah, but there's still something running for it. She's a real persistent. Yeah, I don't. It's embedded in Windows, I think. Yeah, you pretty you much. You can't uninstall it. Okay, so what's going to happen here, Greg, is when I restart your computer, obviously we're going to lose the uh, um, um, Zoom connection, but my connection to your computer is going to remain stable. So okay. when your computer comes back online, um, I'll go ahead and restart the Zoom session because I'll still have remote um, control. You might have to put in a startup password. And then we'll go restart. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm All you're right. in the driver's seat. <laughs> See you in a bit. Looking at the chat. Um, so have you deleted possible corrupt files? We got there. When to stop under the hour. I read that. Yes, they did. Can you go to settings and troubleshoot now? Harambe, yes, he has done that multiple times. Um, now, it's possible, like, for instance, after we disabled a bunch of background stuff, that maybe any of those other solutions might now work. Uh, I did not realize that his problem was coming up so quickly when trying to install updates. So that is a welcomed eye-opener. All right, so there I'm clicking on uh, to, to start the session and I'm reconnected to his computer now. I'm gonna minimize the chat window. I'll hit his Windows button and type Zoom rather than trying to find it. Oh, he doesn't have the Zoom app installed. So let's go to Here, you know what? Let's do this. Let's let him drive. Um, go ahead, start Zoom. And then I'll bring that up visible on his screen. Uh, Windows key and put this message up and communicate to him that way. So there he's going to his start button and it's not popping up. There he goes. That's a crazy wide menu system. So all apps. There's Zoom. Now, why did that not come up when I searched for it? And join a meeting, and then I'll take that, and here, and here, and here, and put in the code, because he probably joined by clicking on a link and doesn't know that offhand. So then we join with video. And I think he is back. Yep, we're back. All right, there we see you. And then I'm going to make a couple adjustments to get things back the way we're accustomed to. And move this guy down here so we're not seeing too much picture in picture. All right, so there we are restarted with a more reasonable size. And I see that your start menu is just 
all across the width of the screen. And I think, where do we go? I'm going to right click, explore, unpin that group, right click, play, unpin that group. Yeah, I get rid of all those tiles. <laughs> yeah, they're just a nuisance. But yep. when you hit the start key, you're, uh, or the, the Windows key, that just goes all the way across your screen. Why is that? Oh, I think it's one of these. All right. And then oh, I'm going down a rabbit hole here. Pinned you trying time. to get to the update page? Oh, I'm just trying to get rid of that. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm used to the It'll all go away Windows menu you just going in there. Arrow okay. Speaker. So I'm going to give that up because you're going to go back to Arrow Tweaker eventually yeah. anyway. All right. So then I'm going to hit uh, Windows key, go to the settings icon, go to update and security. Try it. And retry it. I think those have to install before the optional one can install, I think. I'd be seriously surprised if that works. So, no, it did not. We couldn't install this update, but you can try again. And cumulative update. And actually, no, we shouldn't have to do these before the cumulative update. Um, so we were doing retry here, and these updates for 1909 were failing. And this one is the March cumulative update for 1909. Oh, this is the new one that's got the fix for the printers. This yeah. is the one that has the, the, the printers problem. So this was actually new within the last two or three days. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try that. I don't have a lot of hope for it. Um, should be the same error. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think so, but we'll maybe It never goes to install. It says ready 0%, and then the yeah. error pops up. That errors out so quickly. So I'm going to satisfy the um, chat room a little bit here, mainly because at the moment I don't have a better direction to go. Where's that troubleshooter? Oh, over on the left. Oh, here. The troubleshooter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then scroll down. I, I've had so rarely any success with this. I just don't I, even go to it. It says it can't find any problems. Down at the bottom, yeah. there's Windows Update. Windows Update. Resolve problems that print, prevent yeah. you from updating Windows. And, and I mentioned to the chat room while the, your computer was rebooting is the potential that now we have all that other stuff shut down, could one of these other solutions now work? That's a little bit of a stretch. Possibility. It's a possibility. And at this point, we don't have a good, <clears throat> uh, reason clear why. reason to go any particular direction. So we're doing a little bit of a shotgun method. Uh, let's see. We don't have any recommendations for you right now. Last check. Yeah, never. If you just click the run, it'll run. Oh, did I not run it yet? Yeah, you didn't click it. Yeah, click oh, run yeah. troubleshooter. There you go. Uh, should I click more like I mean it? Yeah, you want me to click it? Yeah, go ahead and click it. I didn't see any reaction not behind it yeah Maybe. there you go see yeah there we go that's what it always says couldn't identify the problem close the troubleshooter detailed information uh potential issues that were checked so these issues it's saying not present yeah i've looked at that too yeah that's kind of consistent with my experiences with the troubleshooter it just it's never I think I even anything. downloaded the troubleshooter months ago 
from the Microsoft website and ran it as yeah. a standalone and got the same thing. All right. Well, okay, what's the service status? Problem with bit service. The requested service has already been started. More help is available. Uh, you were mentioning the bit service. I've not come across that before. To, was that something you were suspicious of? Why were you mentioning that? I've noticed it stop. I'd have the task bar, uh, task manager minimized, run the updates, and I'd watch it. And sometimes it would it would be stopped. I don't know what was causing it to stop when it was trying to do updates. Unless something in the update process stopped it. That's the only thing I can think of. Have you researched anything about it? Do you know what it is? Do you know that it's supposed to be running? Uh, I, I set it to auto is what I found uh, was recommended. And it's been that way ever since instead of manual. All right. But that didn't have any effect. <laughs> Yeah, I have I have no awareness of the bit service and what role it plays in anything. It's got to be running when you're doing updates. I know that. Do you? Okay. So Google search what is bit service? Looking at chat to see if anybody's making mention. Um, yeah, Harambe is, is asking, is the time date set automatically? And you're right, that could impact. No, I've checked that. If you updates. go to the lower right-hand corner, yeah, you'll see it's to today's current date. Yeah, I was sure you'd already been down that road. So background intelligent transfer service, that's BITS. Used by programmers and system administrators to download files or upload files to web servers. So that sounds like that has something to do with down perhaps downloading the updates yeah background intelligent transfer service essential component responsible for assisting now it seems like who was a log the, i looked at a long time ago and it showed it showed it was getting errors from the microsoft server i think it was in that cbs log that's on the root drive can you go ahead and take us there yeah. Want me to cancel this? Yep. You got the controls. Okay. Uh, All right. So Harambe has come up with another thing that I think you've probably really done. Um, uh, SFC forward slash scan now. You've done that at least 20 times. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Harambe. But yeah, he's been down that road. Here is the CBS logs. I can't remember where I found that at. Performance logs? No. No. Can't remember where that was. What CBS, do you have a recollection what? That, that was is. the name of the file, CBS logs. All uh, right. It wasn't in the software distribution, was it? Where is a CVS log file stored from uh, Google search here? Yes. Did you find it? It's This is a, a different log. But it, it would show some errors over here when it was doing updates. I don't know. See, error download failed. Oh, let's look at that. Well, th that makes a lot of sense that it's a download that fails because it because it bails so quickly. So failure content, error download failed. I've got the mouse. Yeah, um, and it gives a, I, it looks like an IP address for a remote server. Okay. So these are dated uh, the time of our session. It's, uh, what is it, about 6 p.m. where you're at? Yeah. Yeah, 10 after 6, yeah. All right. So we've just tried to do some 
updates. So we're getting error downloaded. You are, let's see, on uh, Ethernet. Yeah, 50 meg download. Atlantic All broadband. Right. All right. I mean, I can download anything. I can shop. I can bank. <laughs> Watch videos. No problem. It shows a lot of fails there. Yeah, agent download started, agent download failed, agent, agent, agent. Um, how about there is a way to reinstall Windows Update and perhaps Windows Update Agent specifically that might be a way of repairing damage to the windows update agent uh all the tricks i've found online for that error and other errors uh they say run sfc scan now it doesn't find any errors yeah uh, the dissemination health restore uh run as administrator i've run them all as administrator and it doesn't fix anything and doesn't find anything There was a big batch file I ran one time too, starting this service, stopping this, or stopping the services, starting the services, deleting the software distribution folder, renaming the system 32 cat root and making a backup and all that. And that didn't correct anything either. Still got same exact error after yeah. I restarted. Have you have you used DISM? Um can't yeah, remember it's, uh, restore health or something like that. Um, DSIM, it is distribution. Uh, what is DISM looking at that here? Deployment, image servicing, and management tool. And I've been down that road several times too because I've found searches for it and I've never had that. Yeah, I've, um, used, it, I've used this work as an administrator, I've ran that. The what the DISM? This one right here that I'm touching. Oh, clean up, clean up image. image, restore health commands. Oh yeah, well that is yeah that's that's parameters for the DISM yeah. command. Yeah, I've, I've gone to the command prompt, run it as administrator, pasted that in, ran it. Still the same error. Yeah, so that is exactly what uh, Josty One was asking about and winter mute. All right then. And you could copy and paste that and throw it in the command prompt window and run it, see if it finds anything new. Yeah. I doubt it. I, I think I've ran that at least four or five times. All right. We, I was starting to go down a path and got distracted with that. What was that path I was going down? Oh, this thing, this thing here. I'm really interested in this uh, because this is a very specific, sensible Yeah, it, it's, log. it sounds like to me when I'm reading that log that it's the update channel is going out to the Microsoft service saying, is there any updates for this desktop? Yes, there is. It starts downloading them and then something fails. Yeah, so. I, I don't lose internet connections hardly at all. Every three or four months, there might be a five or 10 minute outage with my ISP, but it comes right back and everything works. I, I'm recollecting some kind of a, yeah, reinstall all, all these searches, reinstall Windows Update Agent. Windows 10. You try that. It can't, it can't hurt it any worse. Windows Update Agent. Uh, where is update agent download for Windows 10? There is no Windows update agent download for Windows 10. The update agent downloads through Windows Update, and that is the only way. And you know what? That is that's that's making sense because I because I have seen Windows Update actually install an update for Windows Update. But what I'd like to do, is there a way that we can force that to happen? Yeah. Um, 
to latest version manually download automatically download this is in microsoft.com let's see if we're getting anything here update windows update agent to the latest this is dated september 20 automatically download and i saw something in that serp for manually manually download standalone download packages package. windows 8 windows server 2012. No, well not, not really real. attracted to that it's like it's going backwards yeah I bet that's why I'm remembering this from the past because we used to have to do that. So yeah, so here's the Windows 8 down here. So this area of Windows 10, uh, original KB number, original product version, Windows 10 all editions and Windows Server 2012. Update Windows agent to the latest version. Six minutes to read, summary. You have automatic updating turned on. The latest version of Windows Update Agent is downloaded and installed automatically on your computer, or you can manually download and install the Windows Update Agent. Okay, yes, please. <laughs> and then it goes right into Windows 8.1 or 8. What happens if you click on the upper left? It says Update Windows Update Agent to latest version. Does that take you to a different? This right here? No, to your left. This? Yeah. That's what we're on. Uh, that's the page we're on. That that yeah, verbiage is exactly yeah. this verbiage. Yeah. That's what where's, we're on. Where's the download button? <laughs> yeah. Automatically download Windows Agent 8.1, 7, restart. Oh, Microsoft Download Center. Uh, yeah. Click the download link. And the agent from Microsoft Download Center. Click the download link. Where is the download link for Windows 10? Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Um, Me on the Microsoft uh, catalog page, would you? Well, I'm real tempted to go see what we can search for there. And see, I do see some, we got some more stuff in the chat. Uh, let me figure out where I left off. Uh, bit service, Trevor Dune says bit oh, service should just, be running. Just above your picture in picture, it says summary automatically download Windows Update Agent. And then there's, looks like a button download manually. Yeah, we've been hiding that. So let me move some stuff Is out of the way here. Is that an link by any chance? Uh, looks like it. Manually download Windows Update Agent from Microsoft Download Center. Yeah. Bingo. Sweet. All right. I did a click. Manually download Update Agent. Is it? Did it download something? I don't think so. No, I didn't. There's nothing in the Firefox download. Up All right, above. up at the top, trying again. Yeah. Double click. Want me to uh, click on it? Not seeing anything happen. How about open that in a new tab? It's the same page. Oh, th no, this is this is a section titled in this article. Oh, OK. Excuse OK, me. so so look, if I scroll down here and click on this, that's just going to take us to that section of this article. Yeah, OK. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My mistake. Uh, nice try. Uh, manually download Windows agent from Microsoft Download Center. Click the download link for your version of Windows. Here are download links for versions of Windows except Windows 10. And at the top of this article, 
This article describes how to update the Windows Update Agent to the latest version, original product version, Windows 10, all editions, KB number. So let's go try the catalog for that KB number. Did a control C for copy. Do we still have catalog open? We do not. Going to a new tab in the address bar and typing catalog and it shows up dot update dot Microsoft dot com and then type the letters KB control V for paste. <laughs> Nothing. Good going, Microsoft. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Um, now, if I just actually search the word update, we're going to get a bunch of stuff. Update space agent. So, update agent. This is we're we're just we're just hacking the update catalog now. <laughs> Trying to find what we want. Looking back at chat. Um, yeah, nothing new there. Uh, date agent. Uh, Windows 10. This is 489. Results. Yeah, it also it all says Intel or other hardware. Yeah, and they're they're completely uh, out, not what we're interested in. So I I I'm inclined to think the Windows Update Agent might not be in the catalog. Why am I thinking that? Um, fact. See, I, I'm kind of, it's feeling like the Windows Update Agent is so automatically there and updated that there is no manual way to do it. They should update that web page. <laughs> so, well, this, this page is updated, and it is a Microsoft site, September 2020. So Windows 10 was, you know, substantially around. Original KB number, so that implies it's been superseded. Um, what if you just copied, uh, update the Windows Update Agent and paste that into Google, see what we get? Yeah, I think I've... So you have a search with Google is in your address bar. So update the Windows... 10 update agent manually uh, manually download is update windows agent to latest version that really sounds like what we've the road we've already been down that says manually download and it is Microsoft. I mean, this this reads exactly like what we've already clicked yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, you think? That's somewhat familiar. Where is agent downloaded? Updated. Now, somebody did ask for the other version. Update Assistant. Uh, Randy asked that's for right. an Update right. Assistant. We haven't demonstrated that. I've gone to the Microsoft page and use the update assistant in the past and yeah, I'm certain start. that you had but let's let's just and document this um, so let's see where 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 is that um, update assistant that's from the Microsoft website not from within right. Windows right? right okay so here Windows 10 update assistant uh, we have not clicked through this during this video Okay, you'll get these updates automatically after you download the update assistant. It's all features of the future updates like Windows 10, all new functionality, keep your system secure. Yeah, it just says up the, the third sentence from the top says 
download the update agent. Yep. Right yep. There. Agreed. Include. I just wanted to just click on that. See the rest of it. And then that takes us to an update now. Windows 10 October 2020 update. Can help you update to the latest version of Windows 10. And they've already removed the 2004. You can't even download that. Right. Um, there is a place where you can get it. Um, but I mean, if we're going to do it, we might as well try H2. Yeah. You have yep. chosen to open Windows 10 upgrade. 9252, 5.9 megabytes. Yeah, I've downloaded that before. Go yeah. ahead and click on save That's file. just sounds like an installer stub. Yeah. So then here's our download. Yeah, I'm just double click and on that. And then open file. One of the best features, PC is currently not running late as 1909-20H2, update now. Yep, everything's okay. Okay, checks everything okay. Starting download in four seconds. I've done this at least three or four times. After it runs this, if I remember correctly, unless something we've done fixes it yeah uh, unless something we turned at, off maybe at the end of it it'll say it'll reboot and then it'll say real quick working on update zero percent and i think it reboots a second time and at the bottom it says in big bold white letters undoing all changes to pc all right so i'll acknowledge a couple of other things over here in chat Okay, Trevor is pointing out where the CVS logs are. Harambi, it says right there, there's no agent for Windows 10. I, I thought I saw that somewhere, so thanks for confirming that. Alan Barsness says hello. Harambi says you want the top one, not the bottom. I think that's what I did um, after exploring around a bit. And Josty one says he's going to be right back. So does this actually execute a restart? I believe it, so. Before it undoes changes. So yeah. do you have a cell phone handy that you could grab some pictures while we're disconnected from you that you can show us? I have to get my son to get, I don't even own a cell phone. <laughs> Congratulations. Wow. I've got a $9.99 Walmart special phone in case the the cordless one ever, you know, you lose power, you don't have any phone. So yeah. I've had that for years. All right. All right, let me go get his phone. Yeah. yeah I might that's need great. him to take the pictures to show me how. <laughs> Jeremy. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Jeremy, can you bring your phone out? He wants me to take a couple pictures. So I'll tell you what, um, in the chat room, I've been intrigued or thinking about trying an idea if, uh, and maybe see if any of you are interested in coming into the Zoom session and be able to interact with us on camera and microphone. Uh, give me an indication in the chat if you're if you would like to do that. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got 14 viewers. He wants me to take a picture with the phone when it reboots to see what it says. All right, so it says, this will take a while. You can keep working. You can choose when to start your update. Your files will be right where you left them. It's easy to go back if you don't like it. And I'm going to uh, I'll reiterate um, 
one of my notions that we start out near the beginning that I think probably a significant number of people in chat were not party to is, is I'm very interested in doing, uh, confirming that you have the resources at hand to restore the image back up that you've been um, making and then do a fresh install of Windows 10 on your M.2 SSD and verify that 20H2 will run on your computer. Um, I, I, I feel less interested that, in that option than I did at the beginning of our session because I did not realize that this was erroring out so quickly. I, I, I don't feel so likely that that is um, such an important way to go because it's not even trying to install. So it can't be, I, I, I don't believe that it could be a conflict with some hardware that Microsoft simply hasn't fixed yet. I've tried this at least four times in the past. Yeah. I believe you, and I'm not surprised, but we are documenting that here on this YouTube video. And uh, through other people reviewing this video, if, if we don't solve it, and yes, that's a possibility, <laughs> if we don't solve it, uh, maybe somebody else will come up with, uh, with a very palatable suge suggestion or have been this far down the road and found a solution. Of course, in a business environment, for my office clients, I would never go this far. I'd just say, okay, we're gonna Russian we're gonna copy stuff. out all of your data and settings and 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 use um, Fabs Auto Backup for for all your profile stuff and just reinstall from scratch and be done with it. And uh, at, at this point, we we seriously have gone to the extent that, uh, beyond the extent that we should have made that choice in a business environment. But <laughs> one of the reasons why I want to do this YouTube channel is because I can take it further and it's justifiable because any computer technicians will be interested in seeing what happens if you go further. It looks like you're clicking on some things, were you? Yeah, I was trying to get to the, uh, the Cronus backup. Oh, all right show you that uh where is it all apps oh uh, it's almost tremendous uh let's see we've got some other it, it, it did the 314 and we can always do a backup now yeah, yeah, um, and even that you you probably don't have a lot of data. No, nah, do I don't think I, daily I haven't installed anything new. Yeah, most of your stuff is is web based of what you what you do, and uh, but what I want to confirm is that you have a USB device that will boot the computer and get you into a Cronus so that you can perform. A restore operation. Now, you're going to have to do that offline. We're not going to be able to observe that um, unless we were to watch through a cell phone. But I think I mean I think I've only got like six programs I'd have to download and install again. Those are relatively easy. I was just worried about my logins and my passwords, my URLs. Well, I backed, do you? I backed those up last night. Okay. Put them do on you, the. I, I exported them from Firefox. You use Firefox and you export them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I export so that, them on the D drive. That should take care of it. So let me catch up with so, chat here. There's some other stuff here. So if we had to do these... a fresh install, I guess so. <laughs> Pardon? I said if we have forced to do a fresh install and wipe the C drive, then I guess we have no alternative. <laughs> well, yeah, but my my since it doesn't take long, to do that with Windows 10s and, and an M.2 drive, um, I'm very interested to prove assumptions. 
Anytime right. I get into a difficult troubleshooting, I like to prove assumptions. And because oftentimes I found that my assumptions were wrong, and then that takes me down a whole different direction of troubleshooting and more correctly to the true solution. So if you can install uh, Windows 10 Fresh and accomplish updates, then that proves the assumption that it's not a hardware problem. Um, then we can we can go backwards from there and restore your current installation and work with that more. But if we find that a fresh install will not do Windows updates, well then we start working with that. And we since we're doing that on a fresh install that we haven't rebuilt your stuff yet, we are free to be aggressive with it. So let me catch up with the chat because there's I know there's some things in here they're asking for. Um, can you quickly check if metered connection is on or off in connection settings? I, I believe understand. it's off. You already know that it's off? Um, I don't have a metered connection. Yeah. I've well, there's a, broadband. Yeah, there's a, there's a way to turn it on within Windows. And that was a technique that we used in the early days of Windows 10 to prevent updates from being done. But since your updates were working up to October and you haven't been into the registry to do that tweak, well, there is also a place to do it in the user interface. But we, we may go right. check that Harambe because it's, it's also a useful teaching thing to put that in this video. They want, so us, that, to turn it, they want us to turn it on no metered connection needs to be off yeah, and what, off. what what it was is that it's a way that we can tell windows 10 not to do updates over metered connections right so let's see when is that zoom alan are you saying that you are interested in coming into the zoom session uh, william dawson microsoft found that my install had around 20 error codes when they did a search of my system yeah, okay, and William also says the only problem cloning, I think, the present system, you will copy errors as well. And we, we're not talking about, I'm not talking about cloning, William. What I'm talking about is just doing an image backup so that once we get to some other conclusion, we can do an image restore once we think we know what the true fix would be. We're not, we're not suggesting to clone to another drive right. and think that that will work. Uh, then William, does he have a spare drive at hand? Could he install new Windows 10? Yeah, we already discussed that. And yes, there is a spare drive, but it's a, um, it's a SATA drive. It's in an external enclosure, opening his computer and disconnecting his M.2. It, it takes some gyrations to go through, so we might as well just take do... about 15 minutes to do that. <laughs> yeah, but it's it, it, restoring your small image to your M.2, that's not take long anyway. I now, just when, think it'd be easier to do it. Well when we do a computer. restore, can you select a, a, an individual program or do you have to take everything? Everything. Yeah. Then we'd just be putting the corrupted OS back on. Yeah, but the per, the point there is that we by then we may have a better direction, we may have a better answer. Well, we we would, if the fresh install of Windows 10 works and it performs updates just fine, then we've eliminated the whole realm of possibility that there's oh, a absolutely. Yeah. hardware issue or a hardware driver issue. If we found we had a problem then we'd be going an entirely different direction than what we're currently doing. All the drivers are up to date. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's not a problem because it is, for example, this problem with the Kyocera printers. Right, I heard about one, that. One of the solutions that I never did get into my videos was to revert to a generic driver instead of the most recent Kyocera driver. Right, use the Windows 10 version. So, well, it, it was, it, it was. I think it was from Kyocera. I don't think it was oh. from Windows 10. Right. But the point is, is that it was going to a more generic driver. Having the most recent up-to-date drivers does not always mean 
you're not going to have a problem. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I've seen that many times. <laughs> yeah. So the fact that you are up to date doesn't mean that it's not a driver problem. It could still be that the Windows 10 October update has some kind of a, a clash with something in those drivers that either Microsoft hasn't become aware of yet or right. they haven't put their brain power to it yet. Because every month, every time we get these cumulative updates, if you go look at the detail of what's in that, oh, yeah. <laughs> they are fixing problems yeah. with with previous. drivers or hardware. Yeah, from the previous update. Yeah. Um, so then, if lucky, you may not lose your programs or files from William. Okay, yeah. Uh, so this percentage thing has restarted a couple times already, hasn't it? Uh, it it's, do, it's doing the update now. Yeah, so this is updating. It, it, does, it does a download percentage and then yeah. does verify and then it does an install percentage. Right. Right. So now it looks like we are on the updating yeah, it says six. path. There we go. Setup couldn't start properly. Please reboot your PC and try running Windows 10 setup again. I mean, Clearly a problem. Clearly not right, huh? I never got that error before. Oh, really? No. It always went to 100%. It rebooted, and I think it rebooted a second time, and I'd see something flash on the screen, but it's, it's so fast, and it's just white. And then it would say, in big, bold letters, undoing all changes to PC. Yeah. I've seen that like six or eight times. I've tried that. I'm just coming over here to see if there is a prompt about update and restart, and there is not. No. Didn't think there would be. Never seen one. Okay, so let's try Googling this phrase. Looks like I can't, can't copy that. I don't think that. you can copy that. Let's do it. Okay, let's do this way. I'm going to do a new tab. I'm going to drag this tab down a little bit. Does Firefox let me do this? So, no, it doesn't. I wanted to undock that tab. Duplicate tab? No. Huh? Duplicate tab? Is that what you were looking for? No, I wanted to get no. it so I could do them side by side. I wanted to undock this from uh, reload tab, move tab. Use multiple tabs? No. No, let's look at another way. Let me go back to full screen. Do you got another browser down here? Is that a browser? No. No. Do you have another browser on the computer? Mm, just Firefox. All right. The Edge, Edge might be still be in. Of software. course, Edge is there. Yeah. Um, okay, so e here it is. G E. Of course, it is. It might go through some kind of attempt to configure. So then I'm going to do google.com and then hold down the Windows key, press right arrow, and it did not... Oh, here, don't switch. Hold down Windows key, right arrow, go to the right side of the screen. Come on. Come on, baby. Windows key, left arrow, negatory, all right, drag it to the right edge of the screen, and not happy, all right, anyway, so here we've got, we've, we've got all we need, setup, couldn't start properly, Please reboot your PC and try running Windows Setup again. Yep, yeah, there it is. The next one below. Reboot your, oh, yeah. when, reboot your PC. Not quite, but they're close enough probably. Windows Setup couldn't start properly. Please reboot. Okay, so that's Microsoft Answers. 
And that's also in Microsoft Answers, uh, Tech Cult, and Windows Club. So right click New Tab, and right click New Tab, and right click New Tab. Quick look at the first one. Somebody telling of their experience. There's somebody saying they've solved the issue. And then that is a blog article. So I'm going to see if Windows Up Arrow will respond properly. Yes, that maximizes the window. So let's drag this guy down so we can still get to it. Solve the issue. Here's how to fix it. Before you start Windows 10 setup, Go to your C drive, delete dollar sign Windows tilde BT. And yeah, the other I've one. seen that before. Yeah, that's on the C drive. All right, probably hidden system files. No, it's I, I think it's right on the top top folder. All right, just go down to Windows Explorer. All right, we'll go there in a moment. I'm using 32 bit vision version. That it could not start properly. Replies. Anyone figured the issue? I have yes, solved the issue. Before you start Windows 10, go to C drive and delete. That's that. Didn't work for me. Here is what worked for me. And they're saying the same thing. Maybe hidden so and hide them. Well, this certainly seems worth trying. Uh then it may give an error message saying currently being used. Don't cancel the prompt. Task Manager Service tab. Locate the service mentioned. Go to Process. All right. Well, I'm kind of feeling attracted to that, frankly. As I think I've I think I've done that in the past. Yeah. Jeez. That sounds familiar. I've done many upgrades already, but one gives me problems. Couldn't start properly. Reboot didn't work. Use disk cleanup. I did all this stuff they're saying. Let's see what kind of replies we get there. They're saying download installation media and run an upgrade. Uh, Windows 10 tips before installing. Try this. What I'd like to see is somebody say, yes, this fixed it for me. Yeah, I've done that. I don't I tried as you suggest. The update is unpacked, worked on all the computers, not updating. No options. I don't see any other option than a clean install. Came across this, had the same issue with the log, tool wasn't able, once volatile. Yeah, before that I deleted the whole setup key expecting that the upgrade tool would have to be able to requate create whatever was required, but still had the issue. No solution. The last one on here, I don't think I've looked at this one yet. Please reboot. If you're facing this error while updating, caused because of corrupt installation files uh, from the previous window still on your system is conflicting with the upgrade process, even rebooting your system. Okay, so is the windows.old folder still exist? Nah, I got rid of that. Doesn't matter which method you choose. Media creation tool always receive the error. Conflicting. Let's see how to fix this with blow troubleshooting. And this here looks like it. Is that an advertisement? No, it's not. Yeah, it's just links. It's a kind of basic stuff, it looks yeah. like. So see, there's so many of these blogs that are written when somebody pitches a problem, and, but they don't have any accountability because they don't, they aren't actually doing the problem. They're not actually working with a computer that has the problem. They're saying, this is how you should handle it if you have this problem. And that's like the executive sitting behind a desk saying how the staff should run when he hasn't actually done it. Yeah, I um, even watched a video. Uh, Jim, his name is Jim 
he's a ham radio operator. I can't remember his call sign, but I watched his video and he says, if you got an old machine, say 1703 or 1903, and you want to just go straight to uh, H2 and uh, not do all those updates and reboots and restarts and everything, he just ran the setup from a, a, a USB. Yeah. What's I, this doing here? It automatically makes that. It used to make it on the D drive too. Well, that's today's date, the current time. So that was created by something we've been doing. The, the I think the folders that they told us to delete are, are sitting right there. This, this one? Reads, the oh, system these? reset. All right. Is, is it underneath those? Let's go look at um, that piece of instruction again. I think it didn't create it because it, it, it errored out. Because it, right. it would go further than that on the installs in the past. And I remember it, uh, an article telling me to delete those two folders and I think restart some services, I think, and try it again. I don't know what that is. I never messed with that at WinRE. Partition. Well, WinRE's, I, I, I'm expecting that's the recovery environment. Okay. And that that could easily be part of an upgrade action. And this was dated 2019. Yeah, 923. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, uh, it's even got rename an it, rename extension. It I want to search that before we go messing with it. Um, fine, we'll do that in Edge. And Google.com, checking uh, chat. Uh, nothing new. Uh, 12 viewers. Thank you, everybody, for being with us. Uh, so then control V for paste. All right. So <laughs> there's a lot of foreign language searches on that. Yeah. Uh, say the top two would be right. Yeah. I'm just going to hit the top one. This file is mostly left by the anniversary update for Windows 10. The file size will be zero. Yes, it was. But this this kind of feels attractive to me because creating that folder could easily be what the update process was trying to do at the point where it errors out. Um, well, are you not going to let us if we cancel that? All right. A lot of Windows 10 users are finding a file named such and such root directory. This file may appear for some users, not others. Uh, is it safe to delete? I feel pretty comfortable it is. Mostly left by anniversary, Windows recovery environment. In that case, this file can be related to recovery backup of the Windows 10 to the previous update. Yeah, that makes all the sense in the world. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about deleting that. And if we can't delete it, that could be a clue of what's going on. I recently did a video with Tim on folders that we cannot delete. Yeah, I think I saw that one too. Yeah. So here, let's see what happens when we try to delete that. Are you sure you want to move this file? Um, let's not do a recycle bin. I'm going to hold down the shift key, right click and delete. Permanently delete. Yes. Okay. It's gone. Yeah. If you, if you go, if you go to the D drive, I, yep. bet, you, I bet you it made that windows 10 upgrade also. Right, All right, right arrow, right arrow to the D drive. Go back um, to the menu. You know, what are you saying? This? Yeah, if you click on D drive, uh, here I'll, I'll go do ahead, it. and then should be here. Yeah, I'll, I see the Windows 10 upgrade folder. 
I, my eyes can't see it. <laughs> yeah, you're down in files. Area okay, now. go ahead. So you I got, got it. it going back up to the folders. Oh, folders. There it is. Here. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why it does that. I've even disconnected. Oh, that, that's a big deal. Oh, that's important. That's a big deal. I disconnected the D drive and tried to update again, and it still won't do it. Yeah, but this created this folder today while we've been yeah. working. It, it always has. I don't know why. Oh, that is just... I don't know if those files are supposed to be on the C drive or what. Ah, uh, fascinating. Or, or if they're duplicate. I don't know what causes it to create those, that folder and those two files. Well, those look like version numbers. Yeah. Um, uh, build numbers. Yeah. 19 and the, yeah, nineteen is a is a build number for nineteen oh four two for twenty four. See or these 20. these build numbers yeah. are always one digit below. So yeah. all of the versions nineteen have build numbers of eighteen. Right. So this build number of nineteen belongs to version twenty oh four or twenty H two. Yeah. Well here it says twenty H two right there. Yeah. Um and these are both the same date and time yeah same date and time. i want to see the size i'm 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 not familiar with your oh let's see that panel's got to be over here huh on view turn off that uh panel out on the right so oh, details pane. details yeah turn that off there we go for something looks like four four gigabytes i'd expect gigabytes you can show them one of those columns. There yeah. You go. Okay. So megabytes, gigabytes. They're the same size. They're a different extension, only because this one has an underscore. Right. Which might mean that it's part two, or I'm more. I'm wondering if it's a um, duplicate. So I'm really interested in deleting all that. Okay, so William William Dawson says it is Windows 10 Update Assistant. I'm thinking that he means these files are Windows 10 Update Assistant. Mm. I Like I said, I've seen that before, and I thought, okay, Kerry said make sure you have no other drives connected when you're installing Windows 10. So I right. took the panel off and disconnected data and power deleted those files, deleted that folder, and started it again. All right. So I'm going to do Windows key E to bring up another edition of File Explorer so that we can switch back and forth between them if, if we want that to. upgrade folder. So this uh, upgrade folder, Alt-Tab, going back to this one. This was... So the Windows 10 upgrade folder on the C and D have different contents. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anything more than those two files in there on the D drive. All right. Well, I want to delete everything that we feel safe in deleting and uh, give that a try. So getting back to that page that had those specific file names. And I can't even get to those buttons that you just saw on that previous page when I go into my start menu. You click there. Here? Yeah. I I don't see those. Oh, all right. Under advanced, when I click under advanced ops, I think there's two buttons and that's it. Because I tried to run the automatic repair, but I could never get to it. All right. Well, I'd like to take a look that look at that some point too um, so what I wanted to really grasp on is these two things B tilde BT and tilde WS those didn't really match um, right click get current rename Let's see, properties of that. 
read only and hidden, so you are displaying. Hidden yeah, I'm displaying folders. all the system files. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Yeah, I I don't think it creates a, that dollar sign BT folder until near the end or after it's completed doing the the script. All right. Can I remember deleting those reset. before. Okay, you're not seeing what I'm doing right now because it's on my computer, but I'm just going to check and see if those two hidden files are on the C drive of my computer. So I'll go uh, turn on hidden files and I have a dollar sign RE agent. But I don't see the others. Now, where is, okay, to get system files. I'll change folder and search options. Go to the View tab. Show hidden files is there. And uh, do, 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 hide protected operating system files. I'm going to remove that check mark. And I think that's all I need there to get anything else to show up. So I've got a recycle bin. I've got a WinRE agent. No other dollar sign. And here on your computer options, change folder and search, go to the view tab. And we're showing hidden in system and high protected operating system files are hidden. We're going to display those. And so, yeah, there's your recycle bin. Page file and swap file. All right, so we're about to do this. I'm going to go back and hide protected operating system files. I'm proposing that we dump these three. Are you good with that? I've done that before. All right. Shift, delete, delete three items, enter. And these two have not deleted everything, implying that there's something still running them, and we're still in that uh, Windows 10 uh, setup, so we should close that down. As we did that update assistant, something went wrong, cancel the update. Uh, cancel the update. Checking to see if any of the rest of this had to do with update. Can't be completed because the file is open in update assistant, so we close that, so we'll try again. And no longer located, so we'll skip. No longer located, skip. No longer located, skip. Skip. All right, do this for all the current items, skip. Looking at chat. Um, um, do, 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 yeah, William Dawson, you mean upgrade assistant instead of update assistant, fine. And then Harambe, I have those two files on my C drive. All right, and skip. Okay, so yeah, we got rid of all that excess emotional baggage. Let's close a bunch of stuff down. Uh, let's see, we still have these on the D drive. Let's get rid of that too.
I don't see anything else there of concern. Obviously, you like dark mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and my eyes just don't <clears throat> get along with it. All right. So that's your back up. And then that guy is troubleshooter. A software distribution folder. Let's go ahead and wipe out that guy too. Um, services dot MSC. And click on one of those, type the letter W, and then page down, Windows update. And it already is not running. I thought that manual meant if it was called upon, it would automatically start. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised to see it not running. I think we're going to want to start that. I want that running before we ask yeah, for an update. Yeah, got to stop that. Shift delete. They are all gone. All right. Close that. Right click Windows Update, start running. Close services. Now I think we're pretty slim. Yeah. We still have that. this log open and we we went down that hole as far as we could about that agent download and there was one one person in the chat room pointed out I guess there was some piece of text on one of the screens that we were at saying there is no manual download for that update agent right so So we've talked a couple of times about doing the doing a fresh install on your M.2. I'm really feeling that's that's what I was suspecting. Where we need to go. It's gonna error out again. Yeah, I think so. Boom, chakalaka. Okay, so your USB drive for Acronis. I want us to verify that when you boot off of that, you get into the Acronis and you're, you're aware of how to restore the image. Um, so you've got... Now, in Acronis, you would have created that uh, USB as a bootable, not just having an executable on it, right? Well, there's a boot folder or boot file right at the top. I can put it in. You can look at it. That doesn't, that doesn't really prove anything to me. Really, what the only thing that proves to me is you, you put that in the USB drive, and we tell your computer to, to restart to the USB. So... And you said you didn't have that option available, so I'm going to look at that. And I think it is uh, reset this PC is an easy way to get to that menu. And advanced startup. Have you inserted that USB? No, not yet. I'll do yeah, it. go ahead and do that, please. Like Carrie says, it takes three tries. <laughs> okay, it's in there. 
Well, now this is interesting. You still have a go back to the previous version of Windows 10 being offered to you. Well, no, this option is no longer available. available. It's okay. always said that. Yeah. All right. All right. Fine. And clicking restart now. And I'm not sure how long this is going to keep my connection, but it should get it keep the connection to get to those advanced startup choices. Well, it did just drop and it tells me that your computer's rebooting and which means I'm talking into air because you can't hear me. <laughs> Let's see, what do I have? Do I have, do I even have his phone number? Yeah, that, that, that should have taken us to the screen for selecting that we want to restart to USB. That should not have just rebooted the computer. I've got you on that screen and let's do this. I'm going to go check an email from uh, Greg and see if I have his um, phone number. I know I had it for Luis the other day, but I don't recall for Greg. Oh, it's coming, the computer's coming back online. Look at that. Let's see what we got here. There's a launch remote control session. And there's that. And then I'll try Windows key, Zoom. And what happens is he only does search from there. So let's go find his Zoom app. Oh, up here is all apps, right? That's what it was. He does this and then all apps. There we go. And then down to Zoom. Join a meeting. The Zoom meeting is 559-500-3498. That is my Zoom meeting. And 555-555. If uh, anyone else wants to join, we'll give that a shot. See if there we that go. works out. There we go. So that was a surprise. I was not expecting that to reboot at that point. Did you see the... Uh... The Windows buttons. After I, I did, I uh, did. You didn't. I did see not it? see alternative options for right. how to after restart. I clicked on troubleshoot and then advanced options. All it gave me was one button. Should have been like five or six, if I remember right. Right, right. There should have been choices there, and and so that is a way to force your computer to restart and boot to a USB um, because otherwise you have to catch it with whatever your alternate boot function key is. Um, is your keyboard wireless? Yes, it's a USB, the Logitech. Yeah, that didn't, and it, 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 wireless USB or wired USB, either way is a USB. So I just ask, is there a wire connecting your keyboard to the computer? No. Yeah, because I found wireless keyboards a little more finicky to be able to catch that alternate boot method. There's another place to do that. Um, 
Let's try, does msconfig still give us a shot at that? System configuration, selective startup, boot, safe boot, minimal, boot log. Oh, actually, you know what? My, um, I just got a tweet. Mike Smith is starting up at the top of the hour for his show. Um, startup. Uh, no, those are the startup items. Uh, tools. It's not going to be in services. Um, oh, yeah, my um, log me in rescue has some boot commands. It gives me some control over the restart. Let me see if I have an option there. I can do a normal reboot, reconnect, emergency reboot, safe reboot, and reconnect. Uh, yeah, not a way to force it to boot from USB. <clears throat> All right, um, your USB is, is plugged in. Let's go have a look at it. Um, bum, bum. Uh, yeah, that sure looks like a bootable. And then this, if I double click that setup, I bet it will launch. Yeah, run the uh, Windows 10 install. Been there, done that. <laughs> oh, this, this is not an Acronis stick. This is a Windows 10. Yeah. Bootable. That's not what I was asking for. I was asking for an Acronis bootable. Oh, I need, then you want me to go into Acronis and make a, a, a bootable media? Yeah, because that's the only way you're going to be able to restore. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, but but now wait a minute. <laughs> we, we, we are booted right now on your hard drive. We're launching the setup from the a valid Windows 10 USB. We might as well try this right here because this would give us an upgrade installation. Uh, do we? Pardon? I can't see what you're pointing I, I, at. No, I, th I thought that was the keep files, keep programs selection. That that comes later, I think. Yeah, that comes later. Yeah. When Windows setup will go online to get yeah. updates, drivers, optional features. These updates I need to will... disconnect. Well, I can't disconnect from the internet. You won't see it. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's no need to disconnect from the internet. Uh, Go smoothly can include important fixes, updated yeah. device drivers, additional files which are not on the installation media, change how Windows setup downloads updates. I want to make the installation of Windows better. Now, you recently created this Windows 10 installation USB stick. Yeah, if you, stick. Drag it, if you drag it to the right, you'll see the date. I think it's uh, late November. Yeah, 1120. All right. All right. So I'm really not worried about it going and, and spending the time to get additional updates and drivers. It's pretty fast. Yeah. Well, the, we can the, always do them later. Yeah, we can do those. We can do those later. Um, choosing yeah. to not do that right now is going to get us to a, a result fast. quicker. And yeah. these updates and drivers. Well, all right. Wait a minute. Yeah, see, if Microsoft, let, let's suppose in our fantasy, <laughs> in our fantasy life here, that Microsoft has discovered how to solve the problem that something that's happening with your hardware right. recently. Right. This update could bring that to us. Well, then let's click it. Yeah, I think so. It's, it, it's pretty quick. All right, and we don't do well. Well, let's see. You know what? If we check mark this, it might send information. It might send them information about your failure. Yeah, but they'll never contact me. <laughs> no, they won't contact you. But it might. It it, it would add to the yeah, vote. Start, start an initiative to fix something. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you might be the extra count. The extra count on this particular problem that yeah and just click next 
And that shouldn't take long yeah. for that piece. Okay, so next. Checking for updates. All right. You watch that and let me know if something significant happens. I'm going to look okay. at the chat. Uh, Harambi, wouldn't it be easier for him to only back up the documents, etc., that he wants to keep than fully reinstall instead of copying the whole drive and potentially copying the errors? Yes, Har Har Harambi, and we and um, we discussed this earlier, and particularly among my paying clients, business clients, I never would go this far. We'd just do a fresh install and copy all the profile stuff over. But we're just kind of being. We're kind of being what? Are we being aggressive technicians <laughs> in trying to find the solution? Because I know I've come across this problem before. Doing all of the prescribed update fixes, none of them work. I want so bad to find this solution. Uh, then the winter mute. You should delete the software distribution folder too in case of permissions problem. We just did that, didn't we? Yeah. He might have that that might have we might have done that after he typed that. Harambe, can you go into BIOS and boot from USB? Um, yeah, and, and we might wind up yeah, doing do. that. Um, and and that's particularly something that I will uh, that I insist Greg I have that you to do that do. on my son's computer when I put his M two drive in there. Yeah, well, but I want you to do that with a Acronis to be sure you can access the Acronis interface for performing a restore if we wind up wanting to do that. Um, so then here, except for the license terms, yeah, that has something to do with your IRA accounts. wouldn't have anything to do with my on Microsoft online account because it keeps giving me a pop-up saying there's something wrong with your account you most likely change your password and I can't get back into it all right I well you're it, that would only be an issue if you're actually signing not. in with a Microsoft account so let's check on that I'm sure you're not Oh, you are. This right here tells me you are signing in with a Microsoft account. I thought I thought it forced me to do that when I did the initial install of Windows 10. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I don't know how to make a local account. Well, actually, no, let's, let's, let's just do it right here. We're going to click on this link right here and we're going to yeah. change it to a local account. That's easy. Are you sure you want to switch to a local account? Windows works better, da 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 da, personalized settings, yada yada yada. Next. And so here you got to put in your password for your Microsoft account that uses this address. And I'm guessing you've lost track of that. Uh, I think I have it Try in it. my brain. Let's try this. It must have been. Uh, so yeah, enter local user account. So your username for your local account, Greg M is fine because that's your profile name. And new password, confirm password, password, hint. So do you want to put a password on it or do that later? I don't think I need to. It's just yeah. me and my son here in the house. Yeah, I'm in agreement. So next, switch to a local account, sign out and finish. Preparing your local account, signing out. All right, so I lost Zoom again. And William Dawson, oh yes, it is just being a tech. You hate to lose since there has to be an answer. Absolutely right. Harambe. I, I I hope I'm not offending you with the way I'm pronouncing your name. Your name's kind of fun. It looks like he's going to Zoom. And anyway, you said sign in with local account instead. Yes, uh, Winter Mute. You deleted the files in the folder, not the folder. Oh, all right. All right, we'll go do the folder.
All right, so here we're just about back in. There we go. So that probably did a log out and log in rather than a full reboot. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. We started Windows. And so then we're going to go to sign in options again. Confirm that we've got a local account as administrator. Uh, local account administrator. Okay. Beautiful. I don't use any Microsoft accounts. I use my Atlantic Broadband account. Okay. There is an association with a this Microsoft account uh, for apps. Uh, you may, maybe you have the Microsoft 365 apps, do you? I don't use any 365. All right. No family. But anyway, we're not... Um, we, we do still have this residual here, but I'm not really concerned about that because that's not how you're logged in. Now, we did have a request from the chat to go one level deeper with the software distribution folder, and that is to actually... Delete the parent folder? Yeah, delete the folder itself. Yeah. And I'll buy that. Uh, let's not do recycle bin. Shift key, delete. Um, hello, go away. Yes. I want you to leave, go away. Is the... Uh, oh, um, Windows yeah, update. Windows, Windows Update is active, uh, the service. So Windows key are services.msc yeah i keep forgetting that s on the end huh yeah uh, to computer it should know what i meant yeah <laughs> should have been 98 percent match <laughs> yeah <laughs> artificial intelligence where where are you at huh right click and stop yeah you can just minimize that alt tab and go back up to Windows, Shift key, right click, delete. Yes, like I mean it. Alt tab. <laughs> yep, start. Now, is the crypto and uh, bits services running? Because those that I found online that are required when doing updates. Yeah. No, it says manual. Um, well, you're not. Crypto is crypto is running because <clears throat> I used uh, uh, an admin prompt to set it permanently that. All right. But I never could find anything about setting bits to be automatically running all the time. Um, bits was where? Up top. Oh, yeah. Intelligent yeah, right, transfer right, service. You can just say start, I think. There you go. Yeah, because that's the intelligent transfer service, and we did see that it's needed for Windows yeah. updates. But it seems like, you know, all those various fixes and such should have been able to catch that. However, if the problem was actually the uh, Microsoft account yeah. credential issue, then... then uh, we may be in better shape now. Um, the file is open. Yeah, uh, so I already dealt with that. Yeah. That was an error message from trying to delete the software distribution folder while update was Windows Update service was still on. Yeah. Okay, so Windows okay. key, settings gear, update and security. I'm going to take a look at chat again, be sure I haven't missed something we said we were going to do. Um, do, do, do looking up a bit. You deleted files in the folder, not the folder. So we've done that. Harambe, you just lost progress on the Windows updater. Yes, I realize that. 
Um, hey, from Highlander, Highlander. Justy one, glad it's still going. He just came back. He said a while ago he was leaving. Islander Azure, is this continuation from yesterday? No, it is not. Yesterday was with uh, Luis. Luis, yeah. So this is a different Order computer, a little different set of symptoms, but still Windows Update problems. Harambe, you'll need to turn off Windows Update service to delete it. Yeah, of course, you were right about that. We caught it. Justy one. I was responding to Islander's question about yesterday was being Lewis. Winter Mute says, stop bits in Windows Update. Stop bits. He's saying we should stop bits, and we just started it. Everything I've read online says it has to be running. Uh, do, 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 do. <clears throat> yeah. Winter mute, could you clarify what you're saying there, please? I'll give him a minute to answer because there's a delay before they yeah. hear me. And eh, it doesn't harm us to go ahead and click on yeah. this, does it? Yeah. No. Fanceptions, these was all about delaying and so on. And we did have the one request about... Yeah, the metered. Metered. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Well, You're right there. Did you see it? Yeah, you go back one one window. Advanced right options. Yeah, I got it turned off because I don't have a metered connection. So I assume. Oh, metered connections here. Yeah. yeah. We turn it on. No, no, no. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Download. No, we. Oh, oh, okay. That's backwards from what I was do, doing in. Uh, in the registry, download updates over metered connection. So that's turning that on. So, okay, well, let's go check the registry. Um, Windows key R, reg edit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to remember how to maneuver to the registry key. The, so the if there's somebody screen. in chat that knows that offhand, uh, go ahead and punch it into chat. But I'm thinking it was local machine. Uh, software. software and at some point we choose Microsoft. yeah Microsoft have you been down this path yeah all right at some point we go into the network oh. adapters and let's see is networking here net framework network is it this one no I'm thinking we got to go into Windows Uh, this is either Windows or Windows NT. And there's no networking there. It might be a current version. And do we get network service triggers? No. It's a place where we get the various different adapters, the Ethernet and the Wi-Fi, and we can select a type that's, I think it was type 3 specifies that it is, um, that it is uh, metered. Well, I know I have that in my OneNote technical notes. I think that's going to be my easiest way to get to it. I'm checking to see if, oh yeah, there Harambe came up with that path in the registry. Uh, Windows NT, current version, and I'm not in NT right now, so let's yeah, go, go back, up. back up. Let's see, can I just, can I go this way? Uh, Microsoft. Let's collapse Windows and then get Windows NT, current version. And looking to see what he says next. Current version, network list, default media costs. Oh yeah, that sounds familiar. Network list, default media cost. So here's the different network adapters. And right. I think it was a three to say that it was uh, metered. 
And does Harambe say which number we want? I think two and one, those are okay. Those are not metered. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, one, two, three, and we are on an ethernet connection anyway, so certainly one is not metered. So, uh, let's see, I see that I missed some things, I think. Okay, Islander, I was going on the title, understood. Uh, Harambe, I think he means stop it to delete software list folder, agreed. We got that covered. Yeah. Trevor, run setup again from the USB pin. Right. Perfect. Thank you. I, I yes. We don't want to run the update. Let's do setup from the pin because that's where we got that error. Ran, got it, that error. You're absolutely right. Thank you, Trevor. Islander, sure. Is it common for a Windows 8 machine to fail to upgrade to Windows 10? using the WUA. Um, you know what, that's going to take a, a longer conversation. Islander, if you'd like to send me an email, I'd love to pursue that with you. If you were willing to come on to a Zoom session with me, the email address dougbetts at livewindowstraining.com. And then Harambi gave us that path in the registry. Winter mute, stop them to delete that folder. We did that. Islander, Islander Attempting to drive via USB on fresh SSD instead. Wintermute says you did that. William Dawson's system, not software. Um, okay, well, I think we got into the right place. I think he's saying, William, where are you referring to system instead of software? Oh, the, the registry key. Uh, we're in local machine software. He's saying we should be in system, not software, for the registry ah. key. Well, okay, so we've seen what these are. Let's go look at it and through the system branch. So here's software. Here's system, which actually makes sense. Our, our, we're, we're dealing with hardware here, right? So then, well, then there's a software. So looking at the rest of that path using the current system, control set, oh. there's no Microsoft. I'm not seeing that. Uh, William, are you still saying we should be in the system branch, not software? Maybe you've changed your opinion after what we've seen. Okay, so Harambe says, try the updater again. Randall Smith, try safe mode. Uh, safe mode with networking, you know, hmm. Yeah, you can, I think you can do Windows update, safe mode with networking. Not certain about that. Islander, random question, you can ignore me. Oh, I think he was asking about his Windows 8 issue. Um, and the Islander says, uh, sounds good. He'll pop me an email. So it sounds like he will come on for a session. That'd be great. I'd love to have you on, Islander. Um, and then William Dawson is saying, control set 001. You know what? That sounds familiar. Control set 001. Then do we see... Software. software. Let's try that. Classes? Eh. No. Maybe uh, maybe um, William will have a next level now that he's seeing this. Hardware profiles. It's believable. Current. Then we got software and system again. Current control set. Um... And the software, no, that's not going to be it. Um, so William says, safe mode, no drivers loaded over other than basic. I think he's responding as to whether we can do a update or upgrade 
I'm kind of feeling like you cannot. No, these these are these are other hardware profiles. Current is the hardware profile we are currently working with. Yeah. So I really feel like we got to the right place for checking on that um, metered connection. Uh, now William is saying classes. Do we have classes at this level? Yeah, right, right, right below. Here, classes. Yeah. So after classes, we have local settings, MUI cache. That's not. That's not working. Can't you go up to edit and define and put in a a, a keyword that you're looking for? If I knew the keyword I was looking for, I think we already found it. <laughs> I was really comfortable with what we've ha had. Um, so Randall Smith isn't safe mode with the Internet a thing anymore. I am. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, because I, I do that through <clears throat> my log me and rescue. I can restart a computer remotely and request safe mode with internet and resume my connection automatically, which is sweet. I love doing that. Um, so, I, you know what, I'm going to say uh, that we've gone far enough with the metered uh, connections because that's just not getting us anywhere. So we want to go back to your USB drive. Uh, we, we could try we could try the Windows update again because that's such a quick result. But then we've got to go back and delete stuff that we've already deleted. Yeah. So. Yeah, the E drive's right there. Yeah. So I think this is <clears throat> going to be a thing where Greg and I are making the executive decision. <laughs> do you want to do it as administrator? I don't think it matters. Yeah, run as an. I've read where you're supposed to. Oh, all right. Okay, so what we did before is we said do check for updates, and we said yes, we want to help because we're hoping it's going to help us, and then next, and this came up pretty quickly when we had a problem. Now, we might get disconnected at any moment. Hopefully not. <laughs> the updates are installed, but Windows 10 setup needs to restart for them to work. We did not get that far, did we? Checking your PC. I think it was shortly after this. <clears throat> Uh, then find the key that contains class net, actual key ID. Applicable notices. Yeah, we got this far because this is where I made, yeah. tried to make the comment about your IRA account being up for grabs. Let's see, what, um, do I have, yeah, I've got my settings right twenty percent what do you remember about how far we got I think we got all the way through the updates Making sure you're ready to install. That's correct. The computer did not restart. I know that. Yeah. So if we're um, unsuccessful here, I think I want to call it a wrap for today. I'd like to join in with Mike Smith's session. Um, if there's somebody in the chat that could put in a... Um, information for people that want to go join Mike Smith's session. You could put that in chat to let other people know. If it's tech-vets.com. No, that's not his session. That's when he oh. and Carrie are doing yeah. their 
thing together, the Mike Tech Show. <clears throat> and he does that. Oh, he's doing that with uh, YouTube Live now. So, but his channel name actually uses his, it's a personal channel. So, uh, it's a little awkward to search it. His, his channel name is Mike Smith and his videos are named MTS and then a show number. Uh, so, let's and just see. click install. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah, but I, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you do that, I gotta, I gotta look at this. Uh, so I got uh, Randall Smith, probably M L O L. I'm not sure. Oh, he's saying maybe wrong about an old version. Okay, but then Harambe says, Harambe says, uh, oh my God, it did it work. He's thinking it worked. So yeah, I don't think we got to this point before. Install Windows 10 yeah, Home, so. keep personal files and apps. Right. The alternative here, change what <clears> to <throat> keep. You could keep personal files only or nothing. We're going to keep it all. Yeah. Just because we're greedy. And then next. So I'm think if this does work, I'm thinking it had to do with the Microsoft account. That's why I mentioned that. Yeah. I wasn't sure about that. We had not <clears throat> explored that or thought of it at all previously. And so that makes me want to check that for Luis from yesterday's session. You won't be able to use your PC while Windows installs. Save and close your files before you begin. To recap, you've chosen to do this stuff. Clicking install. Your PC I've will that. restart. I've seen that part before. <laughs> yeah. We did not get this far during our session. No, unfortunately. But you have, did you say you have seen this? Yep. And failed. Yep. It, it okay. popped up a dialog box. I've got, it, I've got it saved on my desktop or my documents folder. Do you still have your son's uh, cell phone available or will you uh, be able to take pictures? Down. He went back downstairs. All right. Pretty Print screen wouldn't capture it? No, because we're not inside. No. no. If you've uh, got a blank sheet of paper and a pen, you could draw it, <laughs> put it over the screen and trace it. I'm kidding. Uh, but it would be nice for us to have some, be able to show something about what you encounter. Um, I remember right, it, it does the install and says, I got to restart. And it restarts and then it comes back up. I get my uh, Republic Gamers logo. And then if I remember correctly, it's just a, a real quick white box flashes. And then it'll say undoing all changes to PC. All right. That's it. Yeah, I know it's quick. But uh, there's, no, there's nothing in the in the white box that goes by real fast. There's nothing. Yeah. No error codes or anything. This this section, with most of anything doing Windows, it seems like this section goes up to 30%, then does a restart. I don't know if that's... I can't really... remember if it does or not. Yeah. So, uh, let's see, and then Harambe says, oh no, and then, then again he says, it just showed that. Josty one says, nail biter, or is that, no, he's, he's contemplating the correct spelling of the word nail biter. <laughs> and uh, Harambe's got uh, emojis of, looks like, holding hands together as if to be praying for a good result. And we've got, we're showing 15 viewers currently. And thank you again for everybody for coming to join us. 5% complete. Yeah. Good question for you. Yeah. Uh, I've got 16 gigs of uh, G Skill RAM running at 3,200 megahertz. Uh, would increasing it to 32 
Would I see any performance difference? For the speed, no. Or what, uh, like 30, on 32. Up and loading web pages and stuff like that. Were you referring to increasing the 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 speed or the capacity? The 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 total RAM capacity. Total RAM. Ten gigs to thirty two gigs. No, no, you're not you're not going to see faster results. You're bottlenecked at that at that point by your 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 internet connection, your uh, graphics card, your um, uh, CPU, but most significantly probably the websites. Because oh, okay. the websites are only going to give it to you at a, at a certain speed. The only time that I see anybody benefiting from 16 to 32 would be if they have specific software that is capable of utilizing that extra yeah, high memory. And that, hard. Like high-end CAD stuff. Yeah. I, I don't even think video editing uh, utilizes the extra RAM um, very well. And that's an area that I'm not going to claim to be an expert in, but that is my recollection and my impression. Yeah, I, I remember Kerry saying a couple of times, 16 gigs is the sweet spot for Windows 10. Yes, it is. And most significantly, what I, what I find that slows computers down is clutter running in the background. And I recently did a video with Tim where we did a image backup and a restore when we were trying to fix his problem where he couldn't delete a folder. Now, what the viewers of that video don't know is that he subsequently has reported that that computer is booting a lot faster. Oh. I mean, so much that his <clears throat> it was his routine to come home and turn that computer on and then go get a snack or go change clothes or whatever and then come back to it and it'd finally be started. And he says now he turns it on and it's ready before he even diverts out of the room. And my theory on that is that Windows 10, he, and he's using an SSD, is that, was that right or was it spinning? I'm, no, I think he's spinning drive. And I think he tells us in that video. But my theory on that, Windows 10 does defrag automatically all the time. Right. Yeah, so it is a spinning drive because SSD, is, it's not defrag. Yeah, they use the trim command. The trim command, right. But Windows 10 is only going to be able to defrag your files outside of the operating system that's loaded and running. It's not going to be able to defrag that part. Now, yeah, with all the... I don't have anything on the startup menu starting up except what you saw, those four or five items. Okay, that's not where I'm going with this. I'm, going, I'm trying to explain why he's experiencing a faster boot just by doing an image backup and then restoring it still to a spinning hard drive. And I think the answer to that is that every time we get Windows updates, the Windows operating system probably needs more space. Right. Where is it going to find that space? Those operating system files have to become fragmented. Right. And when Windows 10 is defragging a hard drive, it cannot defragment the operating system files because they are in operation. Yeah, they're being used right now. So doing an image backup and then restoring it can make all those operating system files to be in contiguous sections. Whereas if you were to clone to another drive, I do not think that would give you the same speed enhancement no. because if it's you just got gonna, any errors or corrupted files or viruses. It's going to clone it over. And it's going to clone it to the same spots, the same right. locations on the spinning hard drive. Right. So it this never occurred to me before, and I want to test it with identifying a computer that takes like two minutes to boot up with a spinning hard drive. I want to make an image back of it to back up to an external drive, and then restore it and measure the performance after restoring it. I will be thrilled if that causes a spinning hard drive to show a big performance improvement. Yeah, according to the task manager, it's on startup, it's saying 10.9 seconds. It's it's pretty fast. Oh, well, yeah, you, I'm not talking about your computer because you're right. on an M.2. Yeah, yeah you're, you're, you don't have that. 
But Tim has that issue, and yeah, I suspect he's got an his... old 5400 uh, hard drive or a 7200 RPM hard drive. It will be slower. Yeah. And as so, they age, sectors get bad, things like that. Clusters get bad. Right. We're at 65 percent. So my theory about getting to 30 percent and restarting was not correct. I think it does that after it does the first reboot. It'll say like, oh, Windows updates 30 percent, and then yeah, it that could be. That I could think be. That's where it is. And for all I know, this process, once it's reached 100 percent, it might start over again, uh, because Windows does some strange things about showing progress indicators, but. I don't think so. I think it's going to restart when it gets to 100, and we're going to be we're going to be separated. So I'll have ask you to send me an email to advise me of what happens, and then uh, may are you available for a session tomorrow if we choose to? What whatever is good for you is good for me. All right, very good. Checking on the chat. Uh, you won't, Harambe, you won't notice any difference, especially with your basic usage. No, did you? Oh, I guess that's referring to some other questions. Randall Smith, did you flip the go faster switch? <laughs> Harambe replies, no, you would not. Harambe again, you won't notice any difference, especially with your basic usage. Harambe, a better CPU would help. I think he's referring to the 32 gigabytes there, uh, agreeing that you would not experience improvement. Yeah, I was Islander Jer says, <clears throat> yeah, I got 16 gigabyte DDR3. Uh, doesn't make, doesn't take much CAD to grind her up. So he's having difficulties with CAD at 16 gigabytes. That's believable. Yeah. Harambe, I got the new RTX 3070 with a Ryzen. My CPU is a potato compared. Islander Jer, speaking of cloning, I'm a little concerned. Luis has missed some critical partition when he described. Going from only having 16 gigabytes free to the drive being nearly empty. Oh, yeah, I know what you, I, I remember what you're talking about, Islander Chair. Says your Trevor, PC will restart in a few moments. Okay, thanks for speaking up because I could have lost <clears throat> you while my head was turned away. <laughs> uh, I hope this works. Yeah. And me too. That'd be that'd be great news. But I've seen this once or twice before. All right. So a couple more. Trevor says there's no difference extra speed from 16 to 32 gigabytes. And Josty one, a Cronus backup does not back up the Hibernate file and the page file and such. And yeah, that makes sense, but I don't yeah, think, I think that so. accounts for Lewis's, Lewis's difference in space. There's a reboot and the Zoom session is gone and it's 4.58 so I can get to Mike's uh, the Mike Tech Show, and I'm going to end this video. So my YouTube channel is all about providing free computer support to people. You can send an email to me, Doug Betts at LiveWindowsTraining.com. Let me know what you'd like to have help with, and we'll put it together. So thank you guys for being with us. For those of you that are on the session, the show's 15 current viewers, and I am going to the Mike Tech Show. And you know what? I'll show you how I get to that. Uh, let's see, Mike. Uh, tech show. I don't think YouTube's going to search that right. YouTube tech support to participate in. Mike Tech Show on Twitter. Okay, so his website, MikeNation.net. And then click on video for his last show. That'll get you to his channel on YouTube. And then click on the channel icon down here below that video. And then there should be in here a live now. And I don't see him yet. So I think he hasn't started yet. Okay, so signing off. Catch you guys later. Goodbye.